Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and uh, I just finished a batch of bongos, <clears throat> and I just put some more stuff on the store, uh, some solo turbos, which is an anomaly, and some used gear. I started a new category. I'm trying to make the store so that it's kind of very diverse almost like going to a flea market where there's always something new, something odd, maybe something used, but always something going on to, to keep it interesting and, and fun. Now the girls have been uh, retired. The girls now, as you can see, um, are allowed out of the pen now. They, they wander all through the property. And uh, eat a lot of grass and get in the flower gardens and mess up the walkways and stuff. I don't know why those three are inside right now. They're usually outside. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Door's right here and it's wide open. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, the scoop on that. Now, my windmill, which I'll try to zoom in on here. Uh, has not been performing very well lately and the reason for that was I had a damaged wire so last night Sue and I cranked it down and I found the damaged wire and spliced it out and wrapped it we put it back up and as you'll see in a minute uh, when I get into the shop it's performing much better. Uh, this is my control center where I monitor and control the voltage from the or the current from the uh, windmill. Uh, if the batteries get charged completely and it's putting out too much power this control box uh, turns on this coil of wire which will glow red hot and it burns off about 15 amps uh, and takes care of the extra electricity so it doesn't overcharge the batteries. And I've got a switch here so I can turn that on or off and then I've got a switch here so I can turn the charge on or off uh, and this switch here turns this meter on and off and this is a Christmas tree and as the power uh, increases especially if, the, if a gust of wind comes up this Christmas tree will start lighting up higher and higher and higher uh, it's already way better now than it was yesterday yesterday I was almost down into the red so uh, that's cool. I can turn that on and off so I don't use any power there. And uh, I don't need this controller on today because it's not that windy and that uses some electricity so we can shut that off. So anyway, I've got this working now and I've got more power in my shop to work with now. So that's a good thing. It was quite a job to take it down and find the broken wire, but life is good now. Uh, this is my wood pile. I've got about... I don't know, four or five cord here, probably closer to four than five. And I've, it's uh, been sitting out here for, oh, I don't know, a month or so now since I split it. And it's getting pretty dry. Uh, I split it pretty fine because I had the time to, and it dries much better if you quarter every stick. So that's basically what I did. So I've got, uh, it's easy to handle, and it should be extra dry because there's so much more surface area that way if you... Uh, split it up well. Now, once the weather starts to cool down in good shape, so it's really getting cool and crisp, I'll start loading this on the trailer and hauling it up to the woodshed and putting it in the woodshed. So let's go take a look at that, because I'm not absolutely convinced I have room enough in the woodshed to fit all of this in there. I'm going to have to put probably a couple quart of it down in the cellar, I think. There's the girls. Hey, girls. How you doing, girls? Huh? Out getting a little bit of stretching your legs, huh? You out stretching your legs a little bit? Nice to have chickens wandering all through the dooryard. It's just a nice touch. I really enjoy it. You can see by my shadow, it's a nice, bright fall day. It's kind of crisp today. It's in the high 50s. A perfect day for hiking. I've got some junk to clean out of my woodshed here before I put my wood in, but that having been said, you see how much room I have to work with. Uh, step out of the sun here. 
you can see, I'm not absolutely convinced that I'm going to have enough room to get all of my wood in here. I may have to stack it up fairly high, rick it up fairly high to uh, to get it all in here. But what I think I'm going to do instead is put a couple of cords uh, right down in the cellar of the main house. And uh, that'll that'll certainly give me enough room. Now the addition is all done now as you can see and my room doesn't have power in it yet but I'm I've got an extension cord running into it and I'm using it for a studio now so that's pretty nice I'm really enjoying that and the girls have taken all the stuff out of the house that uh, was cluttering up the house and they put it all up in the attic because we've got a really big attic now and uh, I've taken all of my boxes for my business, and those are all stored up in the attic where they're nice and dry now, where Beth can get to them easily, because the staircase to the attic is in the center room in the house. So that's pretty cool. This is Sue's composter here that she composts all her kitchen waste in, and she calls it Darth because it reminds her of Darth Vader. <laughs> Okay, here's the center room. We don't have a door on the attic yet, but uh, open up the attic. Hi Zeke, what you doing up in the attic? And there's all my cardboard boxes. <laughs> How's my boy, huh? How's my boy? Pretty kitty. Yeah. And got boxes stored over here. And boxes stored over here. And this is a window seat where Sue and Bess spend a fair amount of time. This is a, a dormer here that we're in right now that is built out with a window with a view out into the woods. Uh, couple of pillows here. Nice place to camp out on afternoon, fall. Sit there and cruise the net on your laptop. As you can see from this window, uh, from up here, we're like three stories off the ground. We're like, we're up, <laughs> we're up like 30 feet off the ground. You can see we're way above the tree house out there. You can see in the dooryard. You can even see the windmill from here. That's nice. You can see the windmill pretty well from my bedroom too, which is the next floor down. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend, and more important than anything, have a great day. Bye-bye.